We're going to give this synth more back and forth action than a 1970s skin flick starring Ron Jeremy. Well, hey guys, welcome back for another session of Logic Pro Hacks. And I'm Brian, aka Faded Shadows, where darkness and corruption are faded away by music and truth. Just open up your spiritual eyes and you will start to understand and see what it all means as our shadows start to fade away. <laughs> well, today we are going to be hacking the Cyclop plugin by Sugarbytes, and we are going to be making some helo bases, aka helicopter bases, or whirly synths, depending on how you would want to phrase it. Okay, before we begin with any synth programming, let's go ahead and get a good MIDI melody line inside the MIDI editor. You're free to copy this one. So let's go ahead and I will open it up and show you. This is what it looks like. I have the BPM set at 132. We start off with C and go to D sharp, G sharp, then to G. Each one set to the quarter note. The main part of the MIDI file is cut up the fit and force. You want it to set to where it just follows the kick. And we can experiment and I'll show you some variations of this MIDI file later on as we get into this tutorial. So let's go ahead and start off fresh and new. Open up a new instant of Cyclop. All right, so as Cyclop opens up, you're going to hear this default sound. And you'll notice that the default user sound is not really that much default per se. It's kind of horrible. Here, I'll go ahead and just play it by itself and let you give a listen to this horribleness. Let's turn this down a little bit. See, there you go. It's horrible. Let's put this on solo first so we don't have the drums in there. Let's go ahead and tweak this little bad boy and save it to a new default preset so that we can have it later on and give us a nice little starting pad for lots of usefulness. And let's go ahead and fix it. First, we need to change both synth engines to Sol Regiment. I kind of like the Sol Regiment because it's very easy to just go in and, and just pick something and you, you got a really good lead sound. And you can see what I'm doing right here is I'm changing the, the super and the stab down to zero. And I'm also going to just make it where they're all nothing. Like so. We're, we're going to tweak the detune knobs too. Right here. Just take them all the way down to... To minus, you can see as I'm tweaking it, there's a, little, there's a little number up here, and you want to make sure that the tune number will say minus 12. Also, make sure the octaves are both negative one here, too, because we'll need this for our future sounds. This is a bass synth, so it is made for bass synth sounds, so, but you can use it for regular synth sounds, but also keep in mind that this is a mono sound, so it does not do poly. Let's also play with the unison knobs a little bit. I like to have this one off just to center a little bit. Gives a nice sound. And then while we're messing with this, the guy, let's go over here to our decay and change it down to like that, so that way our quarter notes will actually sound like quarter notes. Okay, let's go ahead and play it and see what it sounds like now. Oh yeah, that's good, that's very nice. Very good. I forgot to take out the reverb. Oh yeah, that's really good. Very nice. We got a, a nice default sound that's, that's starting to shape up really well. And we tweaked our little unison knobs. There you go. Just kind of mess, mess with those little puppies there. Yup. Now let's go over to the right side and let's tweak the stereo width to give it 
give our renewed default sound some good old fashioned stereo wideness. Looks like it's already up a little bit, so we can just make sure it's checked. It doesn't really do that much, but I just like to have it right about right there, and it kind of gives it an, a nice setting right there. Kind of like at the 10 o'clock region. All right, and the next thing I want to do is I want to switch this guy right here up to the middle one where it says zero. It just has a nice starting sound. Let's play it right now. Oh yeah, that's nice. And if we did some super on this one, see what that sounds like. Digitize. You can see where you can just, the, the possibilities are endless. And maybe give it a little detuneness. This one, you can see right now, when I click on it, up there in this region, it's already detuned. It was detuned. Minus 11.94. So we can maybe... It's really hard to see. It's really hard to edit, too. But you just got to make sure you play with it. It looks like minus 11.88. Right, let's switch it up one more. That's really nice right there. We can just keep it to the one or wherever you want to do. But this is just going to be a default starting sound that we're going to use. Go ahead and tweak our filter some so that way it can be a little bit easier for our future patches. I think the best way that I like to have my filters is I like to have them both set to a nice low pass or you can do high pass. It doesn't matter, but I, I like the low pass for both of them. And then I, what I do is I just take the cutoffs, take this down, this up, the dry wet all the way up. Resonance all the way down and the cutoff all the way down and it should sound like this And then we can just take the cutoff for maybe the filter two all the way over here Something like that, you know, you can just leave it like that so that way You have it for future reference if you want to go ahead and if you want to just switch this to the you know, maybe that over here to the bottom of the eye and switch these for like something like that. But it's not really going to affect anything, so you don't really have to worry about that. But maybe if you wanted to change your vowel sounds for the vowel filters. But for now, we don't have to worry about that. Now, if we put a little reverb to it, that's another thing. we got to master volume. Maybe we want it set maybe halfway. That's a good default sound that we want it. And then just adjust our volume right here. We can turn up the, the sub. This does not have any filtering. It's just straight sine bass sound. So that's good right there. Little subbiness into it. Maybe tweak the bass down a little bit. There we go. A little bit of glide action going on on default sound. Maybe switch it over to the one over here. The different... Oh yeah, it's already starting to shape it really good. All right, and then let's go ahead. Now let's save this bad boy. Now on the version of Cyclop I have, the save button is a little weird. So what I do right here is I just click this little, looks like a floppy disk, let's just click that comes up with this and I just type in hit my backspace key and then I just type in default the F and then I'll just put in I think this is my third or fourth one I can't remember so I think it's the fourth one default zero four and then I'll author you can just type in the, the name of the offer you want just double click in there Type in, you know, Joe Blow. Joe Blow. But since I already have my name in there, I'm going to click this little arrow. 
And there I am, right there, Faded Shadows or Logic Pro Hex. And the rating, give it a, a two, maybe a three, because it's definitely better than a two. <laughs> now, for me, when I try to edit these tags, they don't really work. If I go ahead and I hit, try to edit them, it just goes away. So I have to go back in here and I gotta hit the save button. Also, the save button's a little buggy. If you click anywhere in the save button, like on the outside, I'll just do what I did with the text edit, uh, with the tag. So you gotta click right above here where it's like, not in here, but right there. It should open up with the window to save. Because if you click on the outside, it won't work. It's And if you click in this dark area, let's see if we can blow it up a little bit. And then you click right there. That should work. Yep, there it goes. All right, so now let's go ahead and I set a default four. All right, let's just do that four. All right, save FS dash default four. All right, so now we got a good default sound. And let's start creating some more madness by tweaking the, the synths and the filters. Let's change both synths to an analog sync. Change this first one here to analog sync. Just make sure these two waveforms are your square sync waves. Let's go ahead and see what it sounds like now. Oh yeah, that sounds really nice. It's got a lot of subbiness in it. Let's take some of that sub out. Oh yeah. So it's got this glide going on. It's, it's sounding really good. So now let's go ahead and just start tweaking this right here. And, and then what we can also do is let's go ahead and change this filter over to filter one for now. So that way we isolate just this guy and just this filter. Maybe turn this guy all the way up so we can hear the sync that's going on. And see if we can just dial it in some. It's a little loud, so let's go ahead and just turn this guy down right here and turn him down right here. Yeah, that's good enough for now. We can tweak it later on as we start adding more stuff to it. With this sound, it's a never ending tweak. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And it's fun. It's a fun sound and it's an easy sound to make. And that's all we had to do. And let's go ahead and let's go over to our filter and let's tweak the resonance. Maybe give it a little bit more hardcoreness, acidness. And let's take our filter down in the middle a bit. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. And if we do this. Yeah, that's what that's going to work really, really nice because we're going to set this to our LFO and it's going to give it some nice LFO action. 
All right, so now let's go over and let's tweak our other filter and our other synth over here. And let's go ahead and let's change this guy to, yes, that's right, another analog sync. Go ahead and change the to the score wave, pulse waves, whatever you call them over here. And let's change this guy to the zero, give it a little bit higher. This is set at minus 12, and this detuning is off a little bit because I want this detuning not exactly the same. And let's go ahead and make sure that raw and fixed frequency are both set. And let's just tweak this guy some. Set over here. Oh yeah, that sounds nice. All right, I'm gonna leave it right there. I like that sound right there, this, this setting right here. And let's go ahead and mess with our filter, turn up some resonance. Also keep in mind that the pitching and these filtering with this glide is really part of this helo sound. So just FYI. And we want it the same as the other synth, but we want it to scream louder than a teenage girl going through puberty. Yes. <laughs> But be sure to change the waves on the master and slave syncs to pull square, just like the first synth. Now, if you want to experiment here, you surely can. Now, let's switch over to the other filter and tweak it a little bit differently. This filter here. And by adding some cool, freaky rippleness filtering. Like a teenage girl going all out vampire and goth and emo all at the same time. Right there. Let's go ahead and see what this sounds like now. Ooh, that's nice. Very good. Now let's be sure to tweak the unison, maybe tweak it up a little bit, polish it up a little bit. Also change the router halfway between filter one and filter two. So we want to add both of them in then now. Filter one, filter two. Maybe just Tweak this one over on this side over here because this one seems to be louder. This uh, ripple filter seems to cut out a lot of the volume. So we can maybe tweak the master up a little bit more. Tweak this guy over a little bit more over the filter two side. Let's see what it sounds like now. Very good, very nice. Let's go over to the standard modulator screen, which is this one right here. Let's click on LFO. And then what we're going to do, we're going to give this synth more back and forth action than a 1970s skin flick starring Ron Jeremy. Let's take the green slit and move it all the way for filter one and filter two like this. Here's the green slit and move it all the way up like that. All the way up for filter one and filter two. And this will control the cutoff. So what we want to do now is make sure that our cutoff is maybe down at the bottom for both of them. So it's going to go wow, 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 like that. And then this next one is going to control our resonance. And we maybe Let's try halfway, something like that. And we could maybe turn our resonance down, maybe halfway, something like that. Because it's going to go up. All right, let's see what it sounds like. Oh, yeah, that's good. In and out, in and out, there you go. 
Yes. Modulation assignment screen. And we can tweak our rate for the LFO right here. Let's do, tweak it up a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get some. Let's put some drums to it, see what it sounds like now. All right, let's tweak this guy up a little bit. Something like that. All right, that's good. That's gonna work. Let's go ahead and put this on solo. Put this right here. We can tweak, we can add different waves. Now what I like to do is let's go ahead and just add a little bit of distortion. I find that the drive is really nice and the distortion or the amp. The drive is really kicks it up a notch and we can tweak the, the amount of distortion, something like there. Now let's turn it down, it might be a little loud. Okay. Now, let's maybe take some bass out. Maybe a little too much. Maybe switch it to, let's try this one. Yeah, that's good. Let's do it right there. All right, and let's maybe turn on the resonance a little bit. That's a little too high. Tweak that right there, and let's see what it sounds like. All right, that's good. And maybe just tweak this up to another octave. See what that sounds like. Nope. Yeah, let's maybe tweak the unison down a little bit. So what I just did there is I tweaked the master decay level, just gave it a little bit of something, something, a little bit more, and kind of help with the sound. Like I said before, this type of sound is a never-ending tweak. You're always tweaking with the sound. It's a fun sound. All right, that's good. And let's go ahead and show you one more thing we could do. Let's go over to the envelope here and let's take this volume button all the way down like so. And let's go over back over to the modulation assignments. And let's just take this A to SAR, make sure it's on multi. Pull them all the way down, for all of them. And let's take the hold button, maybe turn the hold up, say like right there. Put the decay, like something like that. 
Now let's play with it a little bit. So that kind of gives it a, a nice little sidechain gating effect. And if we go ahead and tweak this, master decay. See what that sounds like with the drums. Let's go ahead and just put this guy up a little bit like that. Let's add a little reverb to it. Now we'll see what it sounds like. Very cool. That is our helicopter bass sound. And we can even play with a little bit more. We got different waves we can mess with. We got this wave right here. We can even turn off the volume thing right here through the envelope. And let's go back over here. So this is disabled. Let's just change the wave here and see what it sounds like now. <laughs> messing with the rate and what I eventually plan on doing is taking this rate right here and just throwing it in my automation right here on logic and you could do that really easy by just going in here to read and just changing it to touch I'll check this out I'll go ahead and just hit my play button just hit play just stop it for a second and now I got my value. Let's go back to touch, change it to read. Let's go ahead and just highlight that. Hit my delete key and just delete those weird values. And but now I got a line. I don't have to go hunting for this value. It's already there. So I got it from the touch. And so now what I could do is I can put some values in here. Something like that. I think it was like 
So I was doing something like this. I was so like So when you automate it, it really gives a nice human element to it and doesn't sound kind of computerized even though everything these days is computerized, but it just gives it a really nice sound. I really like this this curve wave sound. That it's just a, like a nice sharp sound, and, and it's just really nice cyclop wave sound that we just made. Let's go ahead, and I'll play you a couple more different ones that I made. Cyclop number three sound, and you can see I'm using the same type of waveform, just a little bit different. But what I will do is I will. I have loaded this project already up to blend.io forward slash faded shadows, and you can grab this project for free. Just be sure to give me a like. That's all I ask. <laughs> so let's open up the MIDI. You can see that we're doing the four on the floor, and then we have some long, nice extra tones. So it sort of sounds like this when you play it. <laughs> That was number three, and then we got number two over here. Two is kind of cool too because shorten it. It so more sounds like a pluck sound. Let's play it. Yep, and then bass. This is more of like a a distorted bass sound, lower bass sound. Let's play that one. Yeah, and is there any more? We got that's some of these over here. These are pretty cool over here. Wait, there we go. So you get the idea of what you can do with this sound. So what I did in this tutorial is I talked about how to make a, a good default sound, and then from the default sound, then we took it from there and we made it a little bit more hardcore with some groovy, nice helo basses. Download this project, everything in here for free. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and share it on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. If you'd like to see more videos like this, just click on the big red subscribe button below. And when I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Also, if you did like this video, Maybe you will like some more of my other videos. You can watch those right now just by clicking on any of these links right here, which will open up a link and a new tab. Again, thanks for watching my video and supporting this channel. And remember, my friends, stay groovy.
You still here? What are you doing? I thought you shut the video off by now. Okay, well, since you're still here, what do you want to talk about? All right. I know. Yeah. She's such a bitch. Yeah. I, I, I know. It's, it's just the way it is sometimes, you know? You just gotta, you know, just tell her that, that, you know, they'll be okay. And no matter what happens, you'll always love her. And you find out she's not, she's not such a bitch anymore. Well, anyways, it's time to go now. Enough of Girlfriend 101. <laughs> All right. Bye, my friends.